So now we are going to discuss about the power system stability analysis. Under that, we are going to derive the swing equation. Swing equation is the fundamental equation which governs the dynamics of the synchronous machine rotor and it is a second order differential equation. So the basic assumptions, first one is uh, machine represented by classical model and the controllers are not considered while we are deriving this derivation and the loads are assumed to be constant and we are considering the sinusoidal voltage and current. So these are the four assumptions. So consider a generator and motor representing the mechanical torque and the electrical torque and the constant angular velocity. So for generator, mechanical torque in anti-clockwise direction and electrical torque in clockwise direction. And for motor, electrical torque is in uh, anti-clockwise direction and mechanical torque in clockwise direction. So consider this two diagram and let uh, this T is your net electrical torque and Tm is mechanical torque and theta m angular displacement of rotor with respect to stator and del m angular displacement of rotor with respect to synchronously rotating reference and omega sm is constant angular velocity and pm act is a shaft power actual input power in megawatt and pe act is the electrical power developed in the rotor in megawatt and h is the inertia constant in megajoule per mva and capital S is power rating in machine in MVA and small p is number of poles in synchronous machine and here we are considering this Tm and T which will be positive for generator and these are negative for motors. So Tm and T acting in opposite direction, so the electrical torque and mechanical torque acting in opposite direction for both generator and motor under steady state condition this electrical torque is equal to mechanical torque. So if there is any difference between these two torques, then the rotor will have to either accelerating or decelerating. So that torque can be represented as a accelerating torque or decelerating torque. So simply we can represent that accelerating torque as Ta. And this Ta is equal to the mechanical torque minus electrical torque. So this equation will be positive when there is a accelerating and this will be negative during the decelerating T A equal to T M minus T E when T M is greater than T E then you will be getting the accelerating torque when T M is less than T E it is a negative torque that is decelerating torque. So consider this as equation number 1. So by Newton's second law this accelerating torque is proportional to angular acceleration and the proportionality constant is the moment of inertia j. So considering that this accelerating torque is proportional to the angular acceleration. So d square theta m by dt square. So considering the acceleration term. So in terms of velocity it is d theta m by dt. So here it is acceleration. So d square theta m by dt square or you can represent by including the proportionality constant j. So, T A equal to j into d square theta m by dt square. This is your second equation and substitute this second equation in the first equation. So, instead of T A substituting j d square theta m by dt square that is equal to T m minus T e. and this is your third equation. So, the relation of angular displacement with the synchronous speed will be given as theta m equal to omega sm into t plus del m where theta m increases with time even at constant synchronous speed. So differentiating this equation 4 with respect to t we will be getting the rotor angular velocity d theta m by dt that will be equal to so differentiating this term it become omega sm and this term d theta d del m by dt. And this is your fifth equation. Now again differentiate this equation with respect to time, you will be getting the rotor acceleration d square theta m by dt square equal to, so this is a constant term, if you differentiate it vanishes, so you will be getting this uh, d square del m by dt square that is your sixth equation. Now from the third equation and the sixth equation, so you can substitute the sixth equation in the third equation. So you can substitute here instead of d square theta m by dt square you can substitute d square del m by dt square. 
you will be getting the seventh equation and we know that the power equation power equal to 2 pi n t by 60 that is 2 pi n by 60 is omega okay, so the power p equal to omega into t so we can represent in terms of the mechanical power and mechanical torque so pm actual mechanical power actual power equal to omega sm into the mechanical torque tm so from this you can write tm equal to pm actual by omega sm similarly for electrical power omega sm into te and this te electrical torque equal to electrical power divided by omega sm so eighth and ninth equation represents the electrical and mechanical torque now substitute the two equation eighth and nine in the seventh equation so j into d square del m by dt square that will, that will be equal to pm actual by omega sm minus p actual by omega sm so taking lcm and take this omega sm to this side it becomes j omega sm d square del m by dt square it is your 10th equation and now we are going to consider the inertia constant so the inertia constant is defined as the ratio of stored kinetic energy in megajoule to the mission rating in mba so for that we need the kinetic energy as well as the mission rating so the mission rating can be represented as capital s and the kinetic energy equation is of mv square and where that mass here it is a moment of inertia and v square angular velocity omega sm square so half j omega sm square so h is equal to stored kinetic energy divided by mission rating and now we need this term j into omega s term in order to substitute in the previous equation so for that from this 11th equation we are going to derive j omega sm so j omega sm is equal to this s goes this side it becomes s into h and 1 by 2 in that 2 goes this side it becomes 2 hs divided by here omega sm square is there one omega sm we are taking this side and another omega sm goes to that side in the denominator so it becomes j omega sm equal to 2 hs divided by omega sm so this is your 12th equation now substitute this 12th equation in the 10th equation so this is your 10th equation here in this term instead of this term j omega sm you are going to substitute 2 hs divided by omega sm so that is your 13th equation and now we know that this omega sm equal to 2 by p into omega sc the relation between this omega sm and omega sc similarly del sm and del so here omega sm the, the rotor angular velocity equal to 2 pi ns divided by 60 and where ns is 120 f by p and if you cancel you will be getting this omega sm equal to 2 by p into 2 pi f and where this 2 pi f is here omega sc okay so from this you will be getting this uh, expression and that is your 14th equation now you are going to substitute this 14th equation in the 13th equation so 2 hs divided by instead of omega sm 2 by p omega sc this p is small p its number of poles and uh, here d square del m instead of del m you are substituting 2 by p into del so taking the 2 by p outside and the d square del divided by dt square that is equal to pm actual minus p actual now you can cancel this 2 by p and 2 by p so the equation become 2 hs divided by omega sc into d square del divided by dt square that will be equal to pm actual minus pe actual this is your 15th equation and now substituting 2 pi f instead of omega sc and 2 and 2 get cancelled you will be getting hs divided by pi f d square del divided by dt square equal to this term and this is your 17th equation okay now you are going to bring this s to this side in the denominator so it become pm actual divided by s minus pe actual divided by s so this represent the actual power divided by the machine rating s so this s is your uh, base power so actual power divided by base power using this you can find the per unit power actual divided by base is your per unit this is your 18th equation representing that pm actual by s and this is your uh, per unit value the capital pm pm minus p where this pm is your pm actual by s actual power divided by base power and p is your p actual by s this equation 19 is the swing equation of the single machine connected to infinite bus system. Mm -hmm.